So the first thing you hear is our legal observer asking for the warrant. Where is the warrant? And you hear him say in the process, ouch, you're hurting me, as they Where's twist the his arm and more and more agents pour on the scene. They then physically drag the community member out of his truck. The only way they got him out of the truck was effectively, you know, manhandling him in a way that looks to me like almost broke his arm. And the fact that you would have such an ambiguous and violent incident outside of our courthouse, it was, it was shocking to me. They just came and cornered us and, and, and harassed us and, and didn't say what they were doing and why they had targeted me. What's, do you have What's any identification? Do you have What's any identification what, what is this that you can do? show them? So this, Excuse me, ma'am, please step back. Right here? Do you have any identification? She said that she had a photo of me. There was no resemblance other than the skin color. Who are you? Who are you? At that time, we still were confused. We're like, what's going on? We have no idea who any of these people are. We literally just walked out of the courtroom and we're being approached right now. What just happened? Who are these people? Why? Why did they come at me and for what? This is a photo we have that proves, no matter what I says, that they do arrest people inside courtrooms. They got tired of waiting and they just did it right inside the courtroom when um, several other people were sitting there. I guess I have hoped that ICE would have some boundaries, some respect for the protocol and decorum of our courthouse. But it was clear after I saw that photo, they had none. We had the hearing and, uh, you know, he's doing great. We walked out and we were immediately surrounded. I asked them for uh, their warrant, which I always ask and they're like, we don't have one, we don't have to carry one. So then I followed up with, okay, so show me how you know who it is that you're after. And they wouldn't show me anything. They uh, were abrasive and disrespectful. Uh, you see it there. I, I'm asking him to get on the elevator, and they're saying no, and then he and then he hits me, open palm like, like that, right? Under what authority? You just you, you just sir, committed harassment. Sir, I need to I, step back. That is my client. I for a criminal case. This is administrative. But they never did show me a photo of who it was that they were after. In the end, it's affecting the the administration of justice. You see them hanging outside a particular courthouse exit. And when the individual they're looking for comes out, he's surrounded by his family. You can see them pulling out their pepper spray and shaking their pepper spray bottles, basically telling the family to back off, that they're going to arrest a family member. And you see them pepper spraying family members, including the elderly mother. 